What's up, everybody? Welcome to another Road Reflections. We're back in the car. Still doing a little bit of the car casts here. Uh, let me get out of this docking bay. I think I might have accidentally scared a pedestrian by backing up a little bit <laughs> to get out of the, the dock that I was in. Uh, I wanted to, uh, to talk a little bit about something I read yesterday about the New York Health Act, which, um, which is basically a, uh, a, a state, you know, just a state legislation that would grant Medicare for all, universal health care, uh, to the state of New York, which is cool. And hopefully this is, this is sort of the, if it passes, it, it'll, it'll kind of be a nice loophole to get... Medicare for all uh, on a state-by-state -state basis, right? Similar to how marijuana is is, uh, is on a state-by-state -state basis. And, and at this point, should be uh, federally legal, you know, decriminalized and federally legalized, but it is not. Um, but, but, this is, but it's the same tactic that, um, that could be used for, for universal health care as well. Uh, and by the way, you know, Joe, Joe Biden has, you know, famously and very blatantly come out and said he would never approve uh, something like Medicare for All or universal health care in, in America, that even if a bill reaches his desk, he would veto it. That is something that he said, which, once again, if, if you were a Bernie supporter, that was Bernie's flagship issue there. Um, so if you, were, if you were a Bernie supporter, I don't, I don't know why you would have wanted to vote for uh, Joe Biden considering he wants to eliminate the flagship issue of the candidate that you like so much. Anyway, uh, but I do want to say that he can, and I've mentioned this before in past road reflections, is he can use an executive order to grant everybody health care. He can do that. Um, under the Social Security Act, Section 1881A, under the Social Security Act, will um, uh, will will you know essentially grant everybody in the in, in the country uh, health care, universal health care, because we are in a uh, you know in a, in a in a pandemic, which is a medical emergency. So you could just grant that for everybody, uh, but he won't. Right. The, the reason why he won't is because um, what if we like it? What if we join the rest of the world and decide, hey, this is pretty cool. This is pretty nice that I don't have to hunt for a doctor that's going to accept my insurance and hope that I don't have a massive copay or something that I, uh, you know, if I fall sick, it, am, am I going to be burdened with a large, you know, health care bill for the rest of my life. America is the only country that deals with medical debt. This would potentially erase that. And, and you know, the other reason would be that it, it would probably be uh, proven that it would work. That a universal health care would be, would be much better for this country. And you have, you have people that come out and, and say, well, what about the health care employees? Oh, you're just going to put these healthcare employees out of work? What about their families? Well, uh, you know, at least we'll know that their families have healthcare. And those folks can probably find a different job pretty quickly. And, I, and then I think it will kind of spiral out into like what kind of jobs... How do we pay for, you know, how do we pay these people? So on and so forth. And again, if you increase the minimum wage to a livable wage, uh, these people won't just be on unemployment because they'll, they'll have enough money to actually pay their bills, you know, enjoy a little recreation and not be in abject poverty under a capitalist system. I hope that I hope the New York Health Act passes. It is it, 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 it's it's endorsed and supported by the New York DSA, um, and I I'm, I am hoping that you know this is that 
they, they're not trying to just sheepdog a bunch of people into the Democratic Party by saying, like, see, look, Democrats do want Medicare for all when, when the DNC and, you know, uh, congressional Democrats have basically come out and said that they're not going to fight for it. I mean, that was the whole force to vote. That was the whole force to vote movement. That was the argument behind force to vote. Just get it, just get it to the floor for a vote so we know who's on board and who isn't on board. That's the whole point. And, you know, AOC's thing was, well, we shouldn't do that because we might not win. And it's, which, you know, it's kind of a stupid argument because then it's like, wait, so you only fight for things you know you're going to win? Like, what about the other battles, which I'm not saying they're unwinnable, but, you know, have some challenges in the way. Like, just because there are challenges in the way means that we shouldn't, we shouldn't push for them. It's just an asinine argument to make. So I am hoping that, you know, that we get enough states that want to do this, that we get enough of a push that 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 they want to do this, similar to to marijuana uh, legalization. And even then, you should they should they should be tied together because cannabis has been known to have medical properties. In fact, CBD can actually uh, prevent the spread of uh, COVID-19 because CBD is, has antiviral properties that prevent the coronavirus from latching onto your cell and, you know, getting inside and becoming a, a virus manufacturing cell, as it were. Again, that's not really being talked about in, in mainstream. And instead of, again, instead of uh, uh, approving the Social Security Act, it, it, Section 1881A, because we are in an emergency right now, uh, Biden pushed on those vaccines, which is fine, you know, but the rollout was messy. We're, we're, we're seeing j and is being pulled out. AstraZeneca's having problems. Uh, we are seeing some, some issues with the vaccines that I think need to be addressed and, uh, aren't, there's, there, you know, and this is, and that's, that's another problem is like, you're politicizing science and you shouldn't, uh, politicize science. It's, it's why people have a hard time believing any scientist that's connected to the government, i.e. Fauci, who also came out and said in the beginning, hey, don't worry about masks, just social distance, don't worry about the masks, you know, and then later came out and said, no, 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 we got to wear masks when we go to grocery stores and all these other places. And then came out, well, I said the whole thing about not wearing masks because we didn't want people to go out and buy masks and not have any for, you know, doctors and nurses. Well, if he would have just come out and said, hey, you know, we're, we don't have enough masks to go around. We got to save them for the doctors and nurses. Uh, so the logical thing to do here would be to provide everybody with a UBI and, and a uh, universal health care. We're going to create some triage centers and we're going to put, we're going to, you know, put manufacturing in, into place so that we can get more masks out there for the people. That would have been a better way of, of, of going about it. But again, it's like when you put science in the hands of politics, it mucks it up. It becomes more agenda based than, than science based. A little bit of a deviation, but the point is healthcare isn't the same thing. If you, you if you just provide like if universal healthcare is just a thing, you'll have more people going to hospitals. You'll have a healthy populace. We'll start thinking about like we'll start not, not just thinking about stopgap measures in terms of pharmaceuticals, but like actually trying to help um, not just cure them, but but possibly just take care of people a little bit better, which would probably include legalization of marijuana. So I'm hoping that this bill passes. I'm, I'm hoping that other states, you know, use it as an example. Um, and, and it's not just a way to sheepdog people into the Democratic Party because the Democratic Party just didn't do this because, uh, you know, out of the goodness of their heart or, or something like that. They did it because a lot of us want Medicare for all. A lot of us want universal health care. Uh, there's a Fox News poll that said 72% of Americans want this. 
And if, and if it's coming from Fox News, which, you know, uh, very much shits on socialism and so on and so forth, um, maybe, maybe there's some, there, maybe there's some weight in that. Almost three quarters of the country wants this thing and we still, and we have a president that wants to veto it and won't use, you know, emergency powers to get it to the people. So the Democratic Party didn't do this. We did this by putting pressure on them. And I hope that state by state, you know, understands that pressure and starts writing their own versions of the New York Health Act. Uh, so, yeah, l l little hopeful news today, I thought. Uh, I thought I, w I, w I, would, uh, I would share that uh, and give you guys a little bit, a little bit of good news. Uh, but with all that said, uh, new videos will be coming out. Uh, till the meantime, I hope you guys are subscribed to this stuff, uh, share this stuff out, you know, hit the like button, do all that, do all that stuff. If you want to become a sustaining member, if you want to make a donation, if you want to get my albums, uh, if you want to get my merch, if you want to check out past videos of, of my show, if you want to get tickets to virtual comedy shows, you can go to my website, krishmohanhaha.com, K-R-I-S-H-M-O-H-A-N-H-A-H-A.com. Okay, guys, I will probably have uh, uh, a few more of these coming out, a few more of these shorter videos coming out uh, over the next uh, next week or two. So uh, stay tuned for that, and then we'll be back to, to live streaming. We'll be doing Monday through Wednesday, 5 p.m., um, and, uh, and we'll be back to doing that on, on May 17th. So um, till then, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you on the road. Bye, guys.